I bought the cheapest shredder on Amazon that had the features that I wanted. But is it a piece of junk or will it do the job? Let's test it and find out. Do you have years of tax forms, medical records, or other paper containing personal information, like your social security number, that you really just need to get rid of? Is it time to buy a shredder, but you don't want to spend your money on some ugly bulky thing that's just going to be in your way when you're not using it. Have you been putting this off because having a shredder is like having that ugly sweater that you have to wear once a year when you see you know who? I have been putting it off, but unlike my ugly sweater, a shredder serves a useful purpose. I could shred this. I'm going to shred this. I have boxes and bins and stacks. Oh my! I have tax records that are 20 years old. It's in the way and it's been suggested that I clean this mess up. It's time to solve this problem and get myself out of the doghouse. I need a shredder. Hey, it's Jeff here from Nettle Reef with DIY solutions to common problems and information about the products that are key to those solutions. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. In this video, I'll discuss the shredder features that I think are important. I'll go over the features of the shredder that I bought, this shredder, test it out to see if it's a keeper, if it'll overheat or otherwise fail, and shred this ugly sweater. I'll give my thoughts on whether or not this shredder is a keeper. If it is, I'll put a link below if you need one. I need a shredder that'll take an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper, has a decent sized bin for the shreds to fall into, is easy to use, relatively compact so it won't take up too much space when I'm not using it, and I don't want to spend any more money on it than I have to. I bought the Bonsai Paper Shredder, model C237B. It was $28.21. Came in a box, it was well packed, blah blah blah. It comes with a little manual. It's pretty well written, easy to understand. Not a bad translation from Chinese. We all know what that's like. So what will this baby do and how does it work? It's got a switch with four positions. Forward, auto, off, and reverse. All right, first we'll put it in auto. Right, when you do that, the power light turns on. As you heard, it turns on and then goes into standby mode. It'll stay in standby mode until you put a sheet of paper in, like so. It'll shred the paper and go back into standby mode. If we put it in forward, it'll just run continuously. Right, reverse, it does the same thing, only in reverse you would use that to clear a paper jam. We'll get to that later. It's relatively compact. It's about 14 inches high, 12 inches wide, and 7 inches deep. And it has a one year warranty. Let's do some shredding and see if this is a keeper. How many sheets will it shred? Will it shred stapled sheets? Will it shred a credit card? How many sheets will the bin hold? Will it overheat? And my personal favorite, will it shred this ugly sweater? It's advertised to take six sheets at a time. We'll start with three and work our way up. I'm going to do this in auto mode. All right, this is three sheets. Okay. Four sheets. Five sheets. And now six sheets. It did six sheets, just like it's supposed to do. A little moaning and groaning. We'll try seven. A 
almost did seven, but not quite. All right, this will give us the opportunity to try the reverse mode, see if we can get this out of here. Okay, so the reverse mode works. All right, so it'll do six sheets, but that's really the limit. It won't do seven. Let's see how it does with staples. This is three sheets of paper and one staple. All right, handle that just fine. Three sheets of paper. Three staples, all stapled very close together. Okay, no problem with staples. Next we'll see how many shredded sheets the bin will hold. The Amazon ad says it'll hold 180 shredded sheets. But the instructions say it'll hold 90 to 96 shredded sheets. We'll test that out and see what's what. This shredder has a window. Some similarly priced shredders don't have a window. It's actually kind of an important feature because you need to empty the basket before it gets too full. If it gets too full, the paper that you've already shredded will start to be reshredded. In addition to the paper that you're putting through, it's too much and it'll cause the shredder to jam. And you don't want to waste your time cleaning up paper jams if you don't have to. So far we have 41 shredded sheets in the bin. As you can see, it's just to the bottom of the window. So let's keep going and see how many sheets it takes to get to the top of the window. I'll do this in increments of three sheets. They're numbered here. So this will be 44. Starting to moan and groan a little bit there. Alright, so that's 74 sheets. We'll stop there. Heard it start to moan and groan a little bit, which means the paper in the bin is probably starting to reshred itself. Let's take a look inside here. Well, it's not completely full, but it's full where the where it gets to the shredder feeder. If you really wanted to, you could pack this down and get a few more in there, but I don't think I'd ever bother to do that. For me, a bin capacity of 70 shredded sheets is perfectly fine. When it gets that full, I'll just empty it. Now the credit card test. Credit cards need to be fed right in the middle, right where the credit card icon is there. And you just feed it in like this. Took it no problem. All good. It's supposed to be able to shred continuously for three minutes. After that, it may overheat. If it overheats, this red light will come on and it'll shut off. If that happens, you have to wait 40 minutes for it to cool. That could be annoying, or maybe it's not a problem. We'll find out. To see if it'll overheat, I'll have my assistant shred 70 sheets at a steady rate in the auto continuous mode. Go ahead. He's new. I'm not sure he's going to work out. Could you do that a little faster? That's better. While he's doing that, allow me to further explain this test. It says that the shredder may overheat if it's run continuously for more than three minutes. If the bin is filled, it needs to be emptied in less than three minutes, then there may never be a situation where the shredder will overheat. I'm running a timer to see how long it takes to fill the bin. It's 70 sheets, the bin's full. Thanks. It took two minutes and 14 seconds to fill the bin. The bin needed to be empty 
before it would run long enough to overheat. So in normal use, this shredder will never overheat. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the ugly sweater. This is really a polyester t-shirt, not an actual sweater, but it's a thought that counts. Here goes. Damn, I guess it won't do it. I was really looking forward to that. I tried it a couple more times, but this shredder just doesn't like polyester. So if you want to shred your ugly sweater, you need a more powerful shredder. There's plenty of them out there, but they're larger and more expensive. I shredded a lot of paper, and I've gotten myself out of the doghouse. But shredding my ugly sweater was not enthusiastically received by everybody. I'm happy with this shredder. For my money, it's a keeper. It shreds paper just fine, including with staples. It shreds credit cards. It's relatively compact. And it's inexpensive. If you need one, there's a link below. And if you need an ugly sweater like mine, maybe because you just shredded yours, and you need to go see you know who, I put a link below for that too. I'd like to thank my assistant. I suppose I should invite him to the cast party. Well, yeah. If you like my shirt, there's a link below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like. And subscribe.